Welcome to our presentation. Um, my name is Veronica Shim, and I will be presenting with Linnea Kalchis. We are PhD students in the School and Applied Child Psychology program at the University of British Columbia, and we are both supervised by Dr. Anusha Kassan. Today, we will be sharing some preliminary results that highlight the voices of newcomer youth through an arts-based engagement ethnography. <clears throat> Before we begin, we wanted to acknowledge that this research was primarily conducted at the University of British Columbia, the Vancouver Point Grey campus, which sits on the traditional, ancestral, and ceded territory of the Musqueam First Nation. The youth involved attended schools in the Lower Mainland of British Columbia, and those schools sit on the traditional territories of the Katsi, Semiamu, and Kwantlen Nations. To begin, migration has exploded in the 21st century, and in Canada, Permanent and non-permanent residents represent over 80% of the nation's population growth. As immigration is expected to continue to grow, the number of newcomer youth will also increase. Of those newcomer youth, half are within the age range to attend high school in Canada, placing high schools in a unique position to support newcomer youth as they, as they transition into a new country. For many newcomers, schools are the first experience of the Canadian culture and the site in which they learn about the norms of their host culture. School integration is a key first step in the overall adjustment of newcomer youth to the host setting, yet more is needed to understand their diverse lived experiences, the challenges they face as impacted by their multiple intersecting identities and social locations, and to support their positive integration into the school system. We were therefore interested in how do newcomers youth experience school and how do these experiences influence their positive integration into the school system? Next, Linnea is going to talk about our methods. So I'll just pass it over to her. Thank you. Okay, so for this research project, we've been doing an arts-based engagement ethnography. So this methodology uses arts-based methods in combination with critical ethnographies um, to learn more about the ways that groups experience certain phenomenon or phenomena. And so as Veronica mentioned, we are conducting this research in um, an English school board in the lower mainland of British Columbia. It's worth noting that this project is part of a bigger research project um, that will also be working in Francophone school boards in the province as well. But today we're going to just be presenting results or some early results from the English school board side. So the way that arts-based engagement ethnography works, um, it's a multimodal approach to research and it expands on traditional methods. And so what we do is we give the newcomer youth some cultural probes. Um, this includes cameras, maps, sketchbooks, drawing materials, all of those things. And we give them an opportunity to express their experiences of school integration through those arts-based methods. We then supplement that research with individual interviews with each of the youth based on the results or the themes that came out of their creation of their artifacts based on the cultural probes. And then we also do focus groups as well, again, based on those um, themes that have come up kind of in the individual interviews and then also um, from their artifacts as well. So across all of these different points of data collection. We then go back a year later and we continue to collect data and we do another round of individual and group interviews um, with the youth. So that's the follow-up data collection. We are again in the process of collecting this data. And so most of what we're showing today is just reflective of kind of time one um, of data collection. So I'm gonna briefly show you some of the artifacts that the participants did. Again, this is just a sample, but it does show you a map of their school. So they highlight for us some of the places that are meaningful to them, are safe for them, all of those things. They talked to us about um, some of the services that they use, the places in schools. They did some drawings and photography. They talked about transportation in Vancouver and the surrounding area, um, the ways that that impacted their school integration, all of these different things. And they also did some maps of um, British Columbia and also the world. Early data analysis uh, has allowed us to develop the following themes. They are cultural transition and change, family, English language learning, friendships, isolation and exclusion, multiculturalism in Canada, the role of food and culture, safe and inclusive spaces in school, school is different in Canada, expectations of Canada, reflecting on experiences and personal growth and resiliency. So taken together, data analysis is underway, but we're learning more about newcomer youth and their needs in schools. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 